The power of modeling in Link comes to light when we quantify our models. And we do this by setting duration and frequency against actions. If you recognize this model, it's the one that was created in the building your first model video. If you haven't seen that, maybe take a look, build this for yourself, and then you can follow along with this tutorial. So our first capture action here is performed by the customer on our website, and it's about creating the content that we need to be able to validate account information to create a new customer account. So I'm going to select this first capture action and we'll scroll down in the properties panel and we'll find the frequency section. I'm going to click the dialog. So I open this form, which we can fill in to define how long this action takes and how often it happens. So it takes a customer on average two minutes to complete the details that we need to create a new account. And it happens 10 times every day, seven days of the week. So 365 days of the year. When I save this, you can see I've set the label on my diagram to help us understand the number of items that are processed through our model. So we have 3,650 accounts being created a year, and they create 3,650 names, addresses, and email addresses for us to uh, deal with. And you can see here, this action, it jumps up to 10,950. And this is because we have an option at this point against this action, which is performed by the account manager in how we deal with these three information entities that are being produced. We can either say each one of these requires looking at by the account manager, and therefore really these are three lots of 3,650, or maybe this is a single record which ends up in an Excel spreadsheet. And when we do a validation, we validate everything at the same time, in which case we can think of these things as a single piece of information. And that's controlled by the information processing dropdown. So I want to consider these three pieces of information as single information entity. I would change the option to take the least information input. And you can see immediately that we now have 3,650 pieces of information flowing all the way through our supply chain. And so now I just have to define the duration. You can see the prompt has changed from missing frequency and duration to just missing duration. If I click here, I get to use the input frequency and I can just define the time for this specific action, which is the validation exercise by the account manager. So maybe it takes them five minutes to validate each account. So we can save this. I can come to the next action, which is the CRM loading data into itself. Again, I have a duration to complete. I can use the frequency here and maybe this just takes it two seconds and I can click save. I can then open my insights to understand the total time that has been captured, which is 428 hours a year associated with managing this particular process. The advantage of doing it this way by thinking about the capture action and how many items are injected into the process is that I can increase the number of accounts that have been created and I can see the impact of that immediately through my process. So I might open this action and increase it to 20. And immediately we can see that we've just doubled the number of items that are flowing through the process. If we did want to say each of these information entities need to be looked at individually, I can come back into my model. I can pick, take the sum, which is three. And now I've got 21,900 items that need to be looked at, still taking five minutes for each item.